Welcome, welcome. I finally got around to doing my second video of the Chattanooga Film Festival. I've been watching as much as I can, uh, trying to get through a bunch, and in that rush I actually made a little mistake in my last video. Not a mistake, but I, there was a video that I missed, a short film that was really noteworthy and worth watching. The movie is called Keep Scrolling. It's a, a short little creeper. It's really well done. It's effective horror. The, the, the monster in it is really creepy, creepy voice. Uh, it maybe goes on, I don't know, anywhere between 10 and 30 seconds longer than it needed to. It could have ended several times before the point it actually did, and it would have actually been a little bit better for it. But it's still really good and definitely worth your time. So definitely check that one out. But of course, I also have the features that I've been watching. And I was going to do a review of everything I watched, but again, I'd rather keep it positive and just focus on the ones that I enjoyed. So that way no one's getting called out for making something that either didn't connect with me or, you know, maybe it just actually isn't good. That is a thing that happens. People make things and they're really... You know, I don't know. Well, there's no such thing as objectively bad, so let's call it subjectively... No, that's horrible. <laughs> Sorry. Subjectively, not for me, but also I can't imagine anybody would enjoy it. Anyways, that doesn't matter. The ones that I did enjoy are what I want to focus on here. So, there's two that I want to do, so let's get to the movies. First up is Tearsucker. Uh, poster here, right? Same as the last ones. This is actually... It's really effective. Um, I think it feels almost like a like a, a star vehicle for the lead or the the antagonist. I believe he wrote the script, and uh, he honestly, it's not just him though. Like the uh, the the ant the protagonist, the the female lead, is also really good in it too, and gets plenty to do. And the script itself is just really strong, but it's made in a way that really gives him a chance to do some really good acting. It really lets him be the character, and there are these quiet moments where he's literally, like, off. I mean, he plays a sociopath character, and you get to see him, like, turning it off and on, uh, his personality, and it's really cool that way. It just, it moves so quickly that... I mean, we don't know a ton about the characters. It's a good script, and we do get enough of a sense of who they are, but we don't get a ton about them. And it is a feature, but it actually almost feels like a short film, which is not a bad thing. It, it just goes. Now, you don't hear me say this too often, but I could have had it longer if it was like a mini-series or, you know, like a little six-part, you know, 40 minutes an episode, two hours and 40 minute kind of... Um, you know, Netflix or FX series, I would have enjoyed it. I would have liked to have spent more time getting into these characters' heads. And you know what? Give a little more time. Give me a bit about the friend and the friend's boyfriend. They're both also kind of fun characters. Well, yeah, they're fun characters. And so the movie overall, quite good. I would definitely recommend it um, if you have the... Um, the Chattanooga Film Festival, uh, you can get their back-end uh, pass and, and watch their films now. If you don't, um, keep an eye out for it when it does show up on your favorite streaming service. The second film, and unfortunately the only other film so far, that I would actually recommend is, um, why, is the reason why I'm, I'm probably going to call this video the best of the fest. It's a little early to call a best, but you know what? It's it, it The movie... The last movie ever made, this one right here, is really, really good. Really good. Really effective. I watched it with um, two other people, and they both came out of it essentially calling it, you know, one of their favorite films. I don't know about, like, forever or recent or whatever, but, like, they, they literally had this as a great film that they really, really enjoyed. And you know what? I'm on the same page. It was a film about the end of the world, and... I've never seen that story done in this way before. It's so pleasant. Like, I mean, you know, you've got uh, Don McKellar's, um, uh, whatever his was called. But this is this is different. This is very, very uplifting. Uh, it's uplifting. It's endearing. It's pleasant. It's, a, it's just like a, this very 
positive feeling story about the end of the world. So the movie starts with everybody on Earth getting a voice in their head telling them the world will end in 30 days. So immediately he walks outside, makes eye contact with his neighbor who's also walked outside. They both point to their heads and it's confirmed this is really happening. First thing he does, all the sex, all the drugs, <laughs> all the orgies. And then he starts cleaning things up and uh, he decides, he finds an old student uh, film that he had made as a student in high school, shot on video, sees all his old movies and is inspired to complete a film that he had written back in high school. And then the movie starts. Essentially, that is when the movie starts. One of the best things about it is just the, the joy of it all, the joy of filmmaking, the joy of creativity. I don't think there's anybody who is at least a little bit creative who wouldn't feel a connection to this film. It really, it, it's about the joy of, of family and people and, and, and quirkiness and all these things, but it's about the joy of, of creation. It really, it's an effectively goofy kind of film. You get all these characters and they're all just endearing, charming people. Everybody who looks like they could be an outsider in, in even this quirky group finds their place and like immediately fills and fills a slot. It's like, you know, what do you want to do? That's what you should do, right? <laughs> You're not hurting anybody, go for it. It's a very, very positive message. And the acting is really good, you know? I think uh, the um, the script is just a lot of fun. The way that it approaches creativity and like has almost no conflict maybe there's conflict but it's not like it's not a strong part of the film it reminded me of the film uh Jacquo by Agnes Varda about her friend Jack Demi it's just it, like a lot of this film is about the joy of creation and again there's also great characters um it's a really fun script it's really well made the capper at the end that really just just brings it all together is watching the movie that they've made it's it's hilarious and it really adds to the entire experience it's a great movie i really enjoyed it i highly recommend it this festival has been uh, a collection of a lot of interesting movies i mean these are the two that i really enjoyed and a lot of them are horror, and I guess I'm kind of almost surprised the movie that I've enjoyed the most is the one that's not horror, but I did, and it was really good. Um, so yeah, check out, um, poster still here? Uh -huh. Can I push it away? <laughs> no, come back, come back. Uh, <laughs> uh, the movie that I enjoyed the most, the last movie ever made, and in this story of this movie, it is. So, um... Yeah, I'm going to come back, I think, with at least one more video about uh, the Chattanooga Film Festival. Hopefully, I'll find one that I even enjoyed more than this one. Even if I don't, I'm sure there are other classics in the bunch, and I'm looking forward to those. So, if you're enjoying what I'm doing or have an interest in the festival at all, subscribe to the channel. Comment uh, whether you've seen these movies. I mean, they played other festivals. And, you know, if it's two years down the road and you say, hey, last movie ever made, I've seen that. Let me know what you think. I'll still be hopefully alive and definitely check in my comments. So I'll, uh, I'll, I'll respond. I promise. Almost promise. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.